Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn this tin can into an improvised ax sheath. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also make sure and check out our website at waypointsurvival.com. This is where we teach survival and bushcraft here at our training facility in Southern Ohio. We have a great facility, lots of resources here in the Eastern Woodlands, and we have great pricing. I think you'll really like the classes, so make sure to check that out. So usually when you buy an ax, it's going to have a sheath or a mask of some sort that goes on it. But what happens if you lose that? Or perhaps you buy an ax at a flea market or a yard sale and it doesn't have a sheath with it? I've got a hack I think you'll like how to make an improvised one. So let's get to that right now. First thing you're going to need is a large tin can. Now these aren't actually made from tin and generally there's not really any tin in them anymore. They're actually a mild steel. But this is a 12 and a half ounce uh, chicken can. And so after you open this, and I would prefer using a safety can opener so it doesn't have any sharp edges, and then of course remove the label, then you're going to end up with something like this. No sharp edges and just a really nice tin. Now it's important that this is a pressed tin, that it doesn't have any kind of a seam around here. You could still use that, but it's going to work better for you if this is just a fully pressed can. Next we take the 16 penny nail that we carry in the wallet and of course it has a flattened head so that it rides flatter inside of my wallet. This is of course for making emergency projects. What you want to do is you want to come about a quarter inch inside the can and you can use a rock or a hammer whatever you have and we're going to make a hole on both sides. Alright now you want to try to make sure that these holes are directly opposite each other. Now you're going to have some small burrs on either side and those are sharp and that will cut your fingers. What you want to do is take your multi-tool and crimp down all those sharp edges. Now if your multi-tool has a file, you can file it down as well. That will also work. But I find this crimping does a good now, job. If the hole has gotten too small, you can always put the nail back in there, wiggle it around a little bit, and wobble that hole out larger, just like this. Then of course you're going to have to crimp it down again. You may have to do that a couple of times. But you want to get that to where when you touch it with your finger you don't feel those sharp edges. Next, keeping the holes right across from each other, you want to take the can and you want to start pinching it just like this. And you want to put your finger or thumb in the middle and try to get this to bend. Now you could smash this with a rock or a hammer or a piece of wood. The important thing is that you keep working this down until you get that to bend. Keep pushing this in. And I'll do that and I'll get back with you. So this is what you're looking for. Something that is shaped like this. And then you'll want to very carefully pry this open with your hands. And that's your opening for the slot where the axe is going to go. Next you take the hank of paracord that you should carry in your pocket. This is about six foot length. And you're going to cut off about a foot or so. And you'll make two of these pieces. Go ahead and tie a knot in each end and then go ahead and make sure and melt the tips of course so you don't start unraveling. Then you simply go from the inside of the hole, pull it through until the knot locks in. When you're done you'll have something that looks like this. It's not pretty but it's functional. Simply take your axe, slide it very carefully between here, then you come around the back of the axe head and you just simply tie a bow like you would for your shoes. And there you go. You have an improvised sheath and that's going to protect you from getting cut. It's going to protect the edge. Now, you could put a piece of cloth in here or a little piece of leather, whatever you have. But, of course, anything that's going to absorb moisture is going to keep that right against your axe blade. So that's probably not the best idea. But this is a great way to make an improvised sheath for your axe or a mask. Now, 
this is much softer metal than the head of this axe or the bit and so you don't really have to worry about this doing much damage to the actual sharpness itself but this is going to be way better than not having an axe mask and it's going to work for you also this is a small boy's size axe but this tin can is big enough to fit a full-size axe like this old Collins axe goes on real well and again ties in the same way just underneath the head pull it tight tie your bow and there we have a good sheath it's nice and sturdy nice and strong and that's not going to come off easily this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the more button and while you're down there you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link and this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in southern Ohio and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel we'd really appreciate it and when you do subscribe make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time